so I would love to talk about Disney. I don't really want to right now because I don't even know. I'm hungry and stuff, so <laughs> you know when I'm hungry, I'm fucking uh, excited to just eat stuff. So I'm so excited, okay, just to eat anything. Hopefully it's something good to eat, like chips. I do have some leftover chips from last night, but I put a lot of uh, like chicken flavoring salts, which is called Aromax. I'm not sure if they have those in other countries, but anyways, so we'll talk about the mouse some other time. Uh, the big bad mouse, the mouse that changed every company forever, the biggest company in the world that challenges everyone. <laughs> um, well, let's just talk about, well, they don't really challenge everyone like bullies, they just, you know, buy a lot of companies and stuff that I don't really, really agree with. Company buying companies, it's, unless you want to save the companies, then it's fine, but unless then, unless you want to save it, then... I know for a fact Disney is just buying them for extra money and stuff. So, okay, let's just continue. So I got a comment from uh, Charles. So a very, uh, what's the word? Recurring uh, viewer on my channel. So uh, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, so you left a comment that I would love to read because it's an amazing comment. And I want to give more light into this, you know. Uh, the sad fact of the matter is once you sell out like signing on with a network, your own product is no longer yours. It would be heartbreaking to create something just to have someone at the force at the force you to put X or Y in your creation. The very thing you pour your sweat, tears and passion into. Remember, it's your product, not anyone else's. Don't sell your soul to the devil because m one day you might find Okay, you might, okay, uh, I can't read. You might one day find yourself in a boiling pot with no way out. I really think that selling out is such a big thing many people do, and it's like, you know, unless you actually need the money, but, like, when it comes to me, I would never do that, like, regardless of what, because, like, I would rather be homeless, I guess, than sell my ideas, because it's like, I work kind of hard on them, and I would not want them to be used for wrong reasons, you know? Like, this is why I don't like um, a lot of these uh, people who sell out. Like, I know a lot of people sell out, and when they sell out, it's totally different. Now, when it comes to selling out, I will never do that. Like, uh, my own product is my own brand, and you're not going to be signing onto any networks or anything like that. Trust me. Like a few days ago, I was thinking, what if my animations are so good that, you know, maybe one TV series in one of the countries, like Japan or something, would love to air my own shows. And, like, th th that mentality isn't something for me because it's like you're working with someone else then. It's, it's not something good. You wouldn't want to work for someone else like that, you know? Like, I don't like that working thing. I know others will, but for me, it's just not because, like, then they have total control of what they want to see in your shows and it's like that's pointless so i'll make my own stuff last night i was thinking of something very fun just you know like if i ever make like really cool animated movies like i do have plans of making a horror movie a romantic uh, movie with uh lesbian yuri couples with a couple um and basically it's like these two are just maids and stuff, there. so you'll see how that turns up. There's much more to the maid factor, because it's not just them being maids, it's them being maids for a certain someone, and m for certain people, and for certain stuff, or living in a certain place, and a certain timeline. You would actually see, like, the certain characters in it, you know, like, you'll be surprised to see how cool it is. So I was thinking, you know what, <laughs> it would be fun if, like, I get... For this, like for those movies, well, okay, any other movies I plan on creating, um, actually, uh, maybe like a few in real life movies, but not with me, like, get a few actors to act out, you know, <laughs> but like, you know, um, when it comes to like other animated movies, like, um, I don't really know what other movies, oh, a TG movie about sending these people into some kind of weird, uh, TG school that turns them you know, into uh, ladies and stuff. So it, it's it's 
very interesting and I want to go more in depth with it but it's like basically wives send their husbands to this place that's just it um, to learn to be much better of a husband so uh, that'll come up very soon I guess when I can make something like that and it won't be on my TG channel it will be on my brand channel because it's part of the brand now speaking of those movies it was like it's so insane to make them and I was thinking you know what especially for that uh, for that romantic one um, you need to add a bit more romantic stuff a lot more romantic stuff and put it in like some kind of um, um, you know like put extra romantic stuff in like a some kind of DVD only type of thing like limited edition something like that where you get like a little model of the characters and stuff and maybe a few artworks and one separate uh, and drawn unique artwork for every uh, for every product you know like it'll be insane you get a lot of um, animated um, drawings or artwork and you get like one unique uh, artwork that's only available for one product only so you won't see you won't see two of the same thing so that'll be cool that could also be limited uh, qualities of stuff too but like just thinking of like making the you know uh, the my tongue is getting twisted, Rick. <laughs> uh, just thinking of making those DVDs were kind of fun, you know, especially customizing the DVD covers. Like, it's very interesting. So speaking of um, selling out, I would never sell out. I won't. I would never even sell my brand because it's my brother and I, we, we both work on it and it's a family business, we could say, and we would never sell it out. I think the next person to actually run the business if it ever gets good will be my children and the thing is that you have to trust them really well you have to train them very well to not sell out because like like that's the thing when it comes to children like I'm not gonna be sending them to school or anything like that maybe homeschooling but never ever um, send them to those big schools and stuff because you know what they're teaching in those schools we don't want to get into those stuff like yeah they'll have a ma'am for a a father but it's like it's much better to you know you know have that than learn about those stuff and be indoctrinated you know so it's good to just not even teach them at all maybe M maybe teach them the only good stuff that they need to know because <laughs> like then you can actually trust them with the brand because if you just trust if, if, if you teach them so I think here's the thing with, you know if you make them into a weird greedy person teach them a lot of those greedy habits and instead of you know being very stingy and very uh, not stingy very um, just very uh, protective over something they will they will sell out everything and that will be very sad especially on my name and the uncle's name which is will be my brother so like my brother and I will be working on this for a while and you will have his own projects to work on too we both have projects to work on and trust me he can make whatever he wants to make, I can make whatever I want to make, but I don't want to make it anything so, like, political and stuff, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, anything with real life stuff, like, especially when it comes to, not names or anything or stuff like that, like, I do plan on adding country names for some characters and some countries, like, um, some countries like Turkey and Germany, like, those are names for, for some characters, but, like, since they're siblings and stuff, you can't actually say that there's some relationships going on because in real life it's like um, some political stuff is happening but I'm not going so far with politics and stuff like oh you shouldn't watch this or you shouldn't watch that why is this video even turning into it's supposed to be about me not selling out and this turning into a freak fest of what I want and what I don't want <laughs> but just saying I don't want to um, dictate to you guys about politics and stuff so you guys can do whatever you want in your own political stuff I have no business sniffing in your own uh, personal stuff so um, I guess selling out to me would be a big thing and I would cry if I ever sell out I don't even think my brother will sell out because he's, he's not like that type at all like I know for a fact when he gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger you do tend to just want to get more stuff and want to collaborate not just collaborate but like collaboration is something different because you keep your own brand I'm guessing and 
it's just for a small little uh team up you know not really something it's like this product x this product you know not really like a full fusion of the product like full fusion of the brand it's just um it's just like a once-off thing which is cool um i do th think that selling out is just wrong altogether but so sometimes there are logical reasons why people will sell out but now it's like oh um you know there's no real logical reason for someone to sell up right now sell out right now because like if someone's especially if someone's very rich you know like if they sell out then you know like it, it's kind of pointless for them to sell out because they're rich you know they have a lot of stuff on their own they don't have to waste whatever you know they don't have to sell out you know to earn extra because they have enough already uh this video is going nowhere thanks so much for watching take care love you all bye please stay safe from this virus take care